And I'm doing a paper uh, which is a, a polemic against the way the government spends its money, which is called it's expensive keeping people poor. And it's, in my opinion, one of the best things I've ever turned my attention to because it's about breaking the system. Mm. You know, uh, you know, you stand in the House of Lords or in the House of Commons or, uh, and, and you listen to people going on about the government, not doing enough for people who are in poverty, not doing enough and all that. And you say, yeah, but what do you want? You're just looking for top ups. You're not, why are you not saying, why can't we get these people out of poverty rather than making them as comfortable as possible in poverty, which no one will ever manage? Mm. Because the poor are living on the edge of their lives. They're living in this permanent emergency. They get up in the morning, they don't know whether or not they can have a, uh, can pour the kettle or, 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 you know, give Charlie the money to, to, to go to school. You know, mm. they're living on the edge mm. and it's getting worse for more people. So in my opinion, we really desperately need to re-change our thinking. And we need to step back and say what works and what doesn't work. You know, they, you know Boris Johnson's fallen. Uh, he will be replaced by whoever. And I bet you a pound to a lump of whatever. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I won't. Sorry, forgive me. <laughs> Lumber. I was going to say shit, but I won't. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> uh, uh, I bet you they'll come up with solutions. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. They're going to do this. And, and I. they will not achieve it because people have always got their solutions, always got their projects, always, but they get nowhere. They help a bit. Mm. I spoke in the house yesterday. Uh, there was a question, and the question was, how can we increase financial inclusion in Britain, in the UK? Yeah. And they're all, you know, they have their words. And I said, well, does the minister agree with me that if we fail 35% of our children at school who become this kind of underclass, mm. Is it is that going to be good for social inclusion? Sorry, for financial inclusion. Of course, it's not. This is this is the problem we've got. We've got a really old, almost Victorian cons way of looking at government, of looking at budgets, of looking at all sorts of things. We spend fifty billion pounds on education, and yet if we spend another twenty billion on breaking into the lives of those 35%, supporting the parents, because the parents have to buy into education before the child goes to school. Yeah. My parents had no idea that education was anything you could do anything with. So what, what did they do? They took me to the school gate and they said, we'll see you in 10 years time and we'll get you a job where you can learn a shovel. Mm. So I would always be in poverty. Yeah. And until we can skill people away, you know, we were talking earlier about the travel industry. Mm. The travel industry is one of the best industries for people going in at a very low level and working their way up, skilling themselves away from poverty. Yeah, absolutely. So that when uh, the, the inflation goes from three to 12 percent, they're not saying, oh, God, mm. what do I do? Do I, you know, do I? Uh, do I turn off the gas? Do I turn off the electricity? Do I turn off the TV or whatever? Mm. So we've we've got to skill people away from that desperate level, and the government's not doing it because the government is thinking in the wrong way. Mm. And I, you know, it's it doesn't matter whether it's Labour or Conservative. They all come in and say, right, what we're going to do, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and then and they're going to do that. And then after a while, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my friend. <laughs> and they're kind of saying, oh, well, we tried. You know, Blair comes in, Brown comes in, Cameron comes in, May comes in, Johnson comes in. Whoever comes in is always working. They, they're looking at government the way government has been looked at for, for 150 years. And until we stop and say, 
we're getting it wrong. We need no thinking. We need to dismantle poverty and not simply keep the poor slightly more comfortable.